Hong Kong is one of the most important cities in Southeast Asia and indeed the world. It's one of nine cities to receive one of the top two Alpha City designations by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network. Under the treaty which transferred control of Hong Kong from the United Kingdom in 1997, the Great Asian City operates as an autonomous region of China. Learn all there is to know about Hong Kong in this video. Although the video is lengthy, it will give you a thorough understanding of Hong Kong, including its history, facts about the city, economy, government, culture, languages, manufacturing, and much more. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell button if you believe this is the channel you were looking for. Go ahead and fall in love. Hong Kong, Special Administrative Region of China, located to the east of the Pearl River, Zhujiang, estuary on the south coast of China. The Hong Kong Peninsula was ceded by China to Great Britain in 1842. It consists of Hong Kong Island, southern part of the Kowloon Peninsula and Stonecutters, Nongshuan Island. The new territories, which include the mainland area lying largely to the north, were leased from China for 99 years from 1898 to 1997. The entire territory was returned to China on July 1, 1997. Hong Kong Island and its adjacent islets have an area of only about 31 square miles, while urban Kowloon and Stonecutters Island measure about 18 square miles. The Victoria Urban District located on the barren rocks of Hong Kong Island is the place where the British first landed in 1841, and it has since been the center of administrative and economic activities. Hong Kong is one of the world's leading commercial and financial centers, having been established as a British territory in British colonial times. The community remains limited in space and natural resources, and it faces persistent problems of overcrowding, trade fluctuations, and social and political unrest. But it has emerged strong and prosperous, albeit with a changed role, as an entrepot, manufacturing and financial center, and vital agent in the trade and modernization of China. Hong Kong has rugged relief and marked variations in topography, which is in sharp contrast to the low-lying areas of the Pearl River Delta region. It conforms geologically and structurally to the well-eroded upland region of the Great South China Massif. The area is an upfold, running northeast-southwest, that was formed about 150 million years ago toward the latter part of the Jurassic period. The Hong Kong Harbor is a partially submerged, dissected upland terrain that rises abruptly to heights above 2,950 feet. Its backbone is made up of a series of ridges, running northeast to southwest, that tie in closely with the structural trend in South China. Victoria Harbor is well protected by mountains on Hong Kong Island that include Victoria Peak in the west and Mount Parker in the east. Lowlands of the Hong Kong region, including floodplains, river valleys, and reclaimed land, occupy less than one-fifth of the land. Extensive lowland regions are found only north of Mount Tiamo, in the Yuanlong and Shengshui Plains. The urban area that spans the two sides of the harbor, with ongoing reclamation, takes up only about one-tenth of the level area. Hong Kong lacks a river system of any scope, the only exception being in the north where the Sham Chun, Shenzhen, River, which forms the boundary between Guangdong and Hong Kong, flows into Deep Bay after collecting a number of small tributaries. Most of the streams are small, and they generally run perpendicular to the northeast-southwest trend of the terrain. The construction of reservoirs and their catchment systems has reduced the amount of fresh water available downstream. In general, Hong Kong's soils are acidic and of low fertility. An exception is the alluvial soils found mainly in the Deep Bay area, where sediment-laden waters of the Pearl River estuary meet saline waters at high tide. Under tropical conditions, sheet and gully erosion is extensive and drastic. Hong Kong's climate is largely controlled by the atmospheric pressure systems over the adjacent Great Asian landmass and ocean surface. Its monsoonal, wet-dry, seasonal changes are well marked, with hot, humid summers and cool, dry winters. Warm, wet southeasterly winds develop in summer when the North Pacific Ocean heats up more slowly through solar radiation and becomes a high-pressure area. The average annual rainfall amounts to about 88 inches 2,220 millimeters, more than half of which falls during the summer months of June, July, and August. Tropical cyclones, or typhoons, generally occur between June and October, and
percent of the 20 to 30 typhoons formed over the North Pacific and South China Sea each year, an average of five or six may affect Hong Kong. Frost occasionally occurs on hilltops in winter. The lowest recorded temperature was 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius in January 1893. Hong Kong is noted for the lushness and great diversity of its plant life. Most of the land, except for the heavily eroded badlands, is under tropical herbaceous growth. The most common forest genus today is Pinus, represented by native South China red pines and slash pines. Some of the oldest areas of woodland are in the Feng Shui wood, or sacred groves, found in many New Territories villages. Hong Kong's animal life consists of a mixture of mammals adapted to the subtropical environment. Among the few arboreal mammals are two species of non-native monkeys that flourish in forests of the New Territories. The largest remaining carnivores are rare and include the South China Red Fox, the Chinese Leopard Cat and the Seven-Banded Civet. Bird life is abundant, and there are numerous species of snakes, lizards, and frogs. An overwhelming majority of the Chinese are from Guangdong province and from Hong Kong itself, with smaller numbers coming from elsewhere. Non-Chinese groups consist largely of Filipinos, Indonesians, and South Asians, with small numbers of non-Asians, mainly Americans, Canadians, and Australians. Mandarin Chinese, or Cantonese in spoken form, is the most commonly spoken language in China and Hong Kong. Other languages such as Teochew, Hakka, and Tonka are used within separate communities of the Guangdong and HK Chinese. The use of Mandarin Chinese has risen as Hong Kong has reintegrated with China. The majority of Hong Kong's population does not profess a religion. A small proportion of the people are Christians, with somewhat more Protestants than Roman Catholics. There are also small numbers of Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, and Jews. For a fishing and trading port, the most significant deities are those associated with the ocean and the weather. The predominantly urban settlements of Hong Kong are typically distributed linearly, following the irregular coastline and transportation routes. The principal urban areas are established on Hong Kong Island and the Kowloon Peninsula, where roughly half of the total population lives. Most of the villages followed the alignment of the river systems in low-lying but fertile alluvial floodplains or the major root corridors. True to its original character as a fishing port, Hong Kong has a sizable, though rapidly dwindling, marine settlement. The boat people, or Tonka as they are locally known, are essentially fisherfolk living on junks and boats, as their ancestors did for centuries before them. They inhabit fishing towns such as Aberdeen, Chao Kei Wan, and Chung Chao, and typhoon shelters in the harbor areas. With the advance of urbanization and the decline of fishing activity, increasing numbers of them are working ashore. Population growth has fluctuated between about 2 and 4 percent since the 1950s. Immigration has been a chief cause of population increase, but it was slowed through changes in immigration policy in 1980 and 1982. Birth rates have steadily declined since the late 1950s, the rate of natural increase falling below 1% by the 1980s. With its limited natural resources, Hong Kong depends on imports for virtually all of its requirements, including raw materials, food, and other consumer goods. Under its unique status as an international free port, entrepot trade flourished until 1951, when a United Nations embargo on trade with China and North Korea drastically curtailed it. This situation, combined with the need to export, led to the establishment of competitive light industries and a transformation of the economy in the early 1960s. Only 6% of Hong Kong's land area is arable, and another 2% is under fish ponds. Since the 1950s about one-third of the agricultural land has been lost to other uses. The growing season is year-round, and several crops per year are possible. Paddy rice cultivation once dominated agricultural land use, but it has practically disappeared. Hong Kong is practically devoid of any significant mineral resources. The mining for graphite and Lita Cham, Needle, Hill and Iron or at Mount Maan stopped long ago. In spite of the many reservoirs, which were built mostly before World War II, the bulk of water consumed is piped in from Guangdong province. Most industry has been confined to the urban areas, especially in Kowloon. 
Textile and clothing production is the leading manufacturing activity and contributes about one-third of the value of domestic exports. In 1977, the Hong Kong Industrial Estates Corporation was established to develop industrial estates that would accommodate high technology industries. Since 1969, Hong Kong has emerged as one of the major financial centers of the Asia Pacific region, despite the fact that it is without a central bank. The lack of exchange controls has contributed to the success of Hong Kong as a financial center. A gold bullion market, once the world's largest, is operated by the Chinese Gold and Silver Exchange Society. Hong Kong's free trade policy has made the territory one of the world's great centers of trade. There is no tariff on imports, except for some luxury items, such as perfumes and motor vehicles. Major suppliers include Japan, Taiwan, and Singapore. Capital and consumer goods such as electrical machinery and apparatus are the largest group of imports. China remains the largest market for Hong Kong's products, followed by the United States and Japan. Textiles and clothing are the leading exports. Tourism is a significant component of the economy, with the greatest number of tourist arrivals from the mainland. Hong Kong Disneyland, a theme park based on the original Disneyland in California, opened in 2005 on Lantau Island. The majority of the populace makes daily trips by public transport in Hong Kong. The rate of car ownership is low, although it is steadily rising. Buses are the largest road carrier, responsible for roughly one-third of the daily public transport trips excluding those by taxi. International traffic is served by Hong Kong's international airport and overland linkages with Guangdong Province. The airport's passenger terminal is among the world's largest enclosed spaces, covering some 133 acres, 54 hectares. The Port of Hong Kong is renowned for its efficiency and capacity. Speedy ferry service between Hong Kong and Macau and parts of Guangdong is provided by various craft, including hydrofoils and hovercraft. Landline telephones are nearly ubiquitous among Hong Kong households, and mobile phone subscriptions exceed considerably the total number of inhabitants. When Hong Kong was a British colony, the governor directed the government and served as the commander-in-chief. With the resumption of Chinese sovereignty over the territory in 1997, the basic law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region went into effect. A controversial security law passed by the mainland government and imposed on Hong Kong in 2020 had the ability to weaken the concept of one country, two systems. Civil and criminal law is derived generally from that of the United Kingdom. The basic law states that this system is to be maintained. The highest court in the judiciary is the Court of Final Appeal, headed by a Chief Justice. This is followed by the High Court and by District, Magistrate, and Special Courts. The Chief Executive appoints all judges, although judges are confirmed by the Legislative Council. Most deaths are caused by cancer, heart disease, and respiratory diseases. Hospitals are divided into three groups, government, government-assisted, and private. The Social Security System long was largely limited to emergency relief programs. Since the mid-1990s, spending on social welfare has increased significantly. Housing has been a major problem in Hong Kong, where space is limited and the number of occupants ever-growing. Changes in the residential environment between the establishment of the colony in 1842 and the Japanese occupation in 1941 were moderate, compared to those that took place in the post-war years. Frequently urban development was the result of plagues, fires, and typhoons rather than of comprehensive city planning. Public housing came to accommodate more than half of the population, most of them living far from the urban core. Education is compulsory from kindergarten to junior secondary level. Students finishing primary, junior secondary, and senior secondary education take examinations for allocation of school places at the next higher level. The number of public schools in Hong Kong is quite small though increasing. Colleges of education train teachers, mainly for primary schools, while responsibility for teacher training for secondary education rests with the two universities. The Hong Kong Arts Festival has become one of Asia's major cultural events. The Hong Kong International Film Festival, inaugurated in 1977, is a major event, 
especially for the display of Asian films. Hong Kong is also a regional as well as an international center in fashion design and ornamental diamonds. The earliest modern peoples in Hong Kong are thought to have come from North China in the second millennium BCE. The Cantonese began to settle in the area about 100 BCE, later came the Hakka, and by the mid-17th century the Haklo had arrived. Hong Kong was the scene of the last struggles between the declining Ming Dynasty and the rising Qing, led by the Manchu. Hong Kong was ceded to Britain by the Treaty of Nanjing in 1839. Less than 20 years later China ceded the Kowloon Peninsula south of what is now Boundary Street and Stonecutters Island. By the Convention of 1898, the new territories together with 235 islands were leased to Britain for 99 years from July 1, 1898. Since its establishment, Hong Kong has provided a refuge for runaway persons and capital from China as well as an interim abode for rural emigrants destined for Southeast Asia. After the establishment of the Republic of China in 1912, proponents of emerging nationalism sought to abolish all foreign treaty privileges in China. When the Sino-Japanese War broke out in 1937, thousands of Chinese fled to Hong Kong before the advancing Japanese. During the war years Hong Kong's commerce was drastically impaired, food was scarce, and many residents fled to inland China. During the 1950s and 1960s the colony's economy grew on the basis of light industries such as textiles. But because much of its development depended on cheap labor, which toiled under extremely poor working conditions, social discontent began to spread in the early 1960s. Severe riots broke out in Hong Kong and Kowloon in 1967 following a labor dispute in a plastic flower factory. The Chinese-British Joint Declaration was formally signed by the heads of both governments in Beijing on December 19, 1984. There ensued a period of often difficult negotiations between Hong Kong and Beijing on the final wording of the document. Despite some reservations from Hong Kong, the basic law took effect on July 1, 1997. See you in next video.